Hi guys and gals. I was able to get my hands on a ThinkPad T14 for a short period of time and wanted to see how it compared to the X13. The contents inside the box are pretty much the same. Inside there's a laptop charger and a safety and warranty guide. Specs are for the most part the same as the X13 that I had, with the exception of the amount of memory in the laptop, the front facing camera, and the LCD. They both have an AMD Ryzen Pro 4750 CPU, Intel AX200 Wi Fi 6 card, built in WLAN antennas, 50 watt hour batteries, Windows 10 Home, and both have 1080p resolution LCDs. The differences are that the X13 has a 13 inch 300 nit LCD while the T14 has a 400 nit low power LCD and the X13 has 32 gigs of memory and this T14 only has 8 gigabytes. however it's upgradable to 40 gigabytes. Although they both have a 128 gig NVMe SSD the X13 has a Samsung SSD, while the T14 has a Western Digital SSD. This may just be the fact that Lenovo uses different vendors for availability. They may use different SSDs between product lines, or both. Looking around the laptop, there's pretty much the same connectivity as the X13, with the exception of an Ethernet port and the microSD reader, is on the side of the T14 instead of being inside the SIM card tray of the X13. Let's see what's under the laptop and install an 8GB stick of memory to see what the differences are between running the laptop with single channel onboard memory and dual channel memory. To remove the bottom cover, loosen the 5 Phillips screws on the bottom of the laptop, pry the crap out of the bottom cover, and with some magic and video editing, the cover is off. The bottom cover of the T14 is plastic as you can see, and it has a very flimsy dual heat pipe design versus a single heat pipe design on the X13 for the processor. A WAN slot for an optional cellular modem, a 128 gig NVMe SSD, an Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card, and a 50 watt hour battery. Also, as you can see, the speakers are towards the front of the screen instead of being under the laptop by the palm rest on the X13. Also, the fan and heatsink for the laptop isn't secured in any way, and that's not good. Before temporarily putting the bottom cover back on, I'm going to install the 8GB DDR4 module that I have laying around. Unfortunately, the 8GB memory stick I have only runs at 2400MHz, so it could potentially hurt performance. Let's get Windows set up real quick and do some benchmarks. But first we'll need to plug it in since it doesn't have a charge. There's surprisingly a lot of flex when pushing down on the palm rest and touchpad area which I think has more flex than the X13. The LCD and top panel have about the same flex as the X13 and the keyboard and touchpad are larger than the X13. I'm personally fine with the reduced size of the X13 keyboard but the larger size of the T14's touchpad is definitely nice.
The bottom cover of the X13 is metal, but plastic on the T14. As I mentioned, the heat pipe on the T14 is surprisingly flimsy and not secured to the laptop frame at all, which is very concerning to me as well as the flex around the keyboard and touchpad on the T14. Put a short clip of the flex and flimsy heat pipe at the end of the video. I ran user benchmark, Cinebench single and multi-threaded tests, Nova Bench, and did a quick encoding test with DaVinci Resolve. For Cinebench, the T14 benchmarked over 3 runs an average of 3300 points with the onboard 8GB memory, and surprisingly a lower score of 3227 with the additional 8GB stick of memory that I added. This is considerably faster than the X13, which, if I remember correctly, benchmarked between 2700 to 2800 in Cinebench. The reason the benchmark was lower with the memory module installed was more than likely because the onboard memory and 8GB module that I installed had to operate at the lowest frequency of the two sticks, which was 2400MHz instead of 3200MHz. This proves that memory performance does indeed affect Ryzen processors a lot. Single core performance was rather interesting. Although close with only the onboard memory, the average score was 471 points. While with the additional memory stick installed, the average was 473. With Novabench, I only had time to test performance with onboard memory and it averaged a score of 1973. Finally, I ran a video encoding test in DaVinci Resolve, and this is where dual channel memory seemed to have a huge difference. I took a 12 minute 18 second video and re encoded it using the YouTube profile in DaVinci Resolve. With dual channel memory, it took 4 minutes and 44 seconds. While with just onboard memory, re-encoding took 6 minutes and 44 seconds. That's a 2 minute difference which is very substantial when it comes to video encoding. What's interesting is that when encoding with dual channel memory, the CPU is only operating at 1.39 GHz. While with just the onboard memory, the CPU is operating at around 2.4 GHz. Another factor that may have affected encoding time is how much memory was available for encoding. But with only 8 gigs, it didn't look like the memory was being fully utilized. The cameras seem to be about the same between the X13 and T14, but since the T14 has the 400 nit screen, it came with the infrared camera, so you can use Windows Hello for logging onto your laptop. Speaking of screens, to me the extra 100 nits and brightness didn't seem to help that much, but I think both screens look equally good. However, the screen on the T14 is a low power screen and it seemed to help with power consumption. This particular T14 has the AUO B140HAN05.7 screen, and apparently Lenovo uses three different panels for the 400 nit screen. I also want to mention that with the laptop set to the default 150 scaling, the screen doesn't look very good at all. But at 100% scaling, it looked much better. To be honest, however, this is true for most laptops, and I highly recommend lowering the scaling settings. Here you can see me changing the scaling from 150% to 100%. But I left at 150% scaling throughout the video to hopefully make seeing what was happening on the screen easier to see. I didn't have enough time to measure overall power usage, but the T14 sitting idle consumed about 2 watts, and watching YouTube videos consumed between 8 to 10 watts. This means realistically, normal usage will be anywhere around 4 to 6 watts. This means that realistic battery life can be anywhere between 5 and 12 hours. Now let's see how speakers perform on the T14. I played a couple songs on YouTube and personally I don't think the speakers are any better than the X13. In fact, they're the same or worse. Also I toggle what Lenovo calls the Dolby Audio speaker system on and off. And if you can hear the difference, it seems like they just toggle some equalizer settings so that the sound doesn't sound as flat.
So would I rather have a T14 or the X13? Honestly, it's hard for me to decide, but here's my thoughts. The T14 does have the lower power screen, which is definitely nice to have. It also has an Ethernet jack. The micro SD card isn't in the stupid SIM card tray slot. Performs better due to better thermal design. A bigger keyboard and touchpad. And has a memory slot that allows you to upgrade the laptop up to 48 gigs if you purchase the laptop with 16 gigs on board and add a 32 gigabyte DDR4 memory module separately. However, the X13 seems to have better build quality and is more compact. So the T14 seems to be more advantageous, but I'm rather disappointed at its build quality. Obviously there's a size difference, but would you sacrifice having a smaller laptop, which with I think has a better build quality, while compromising a few things? Or would you rather have the slightly bigger laptop that has quite a few advantages, but to me, poor build quality? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, in case anyone is like me and interested to see how HP's EliteBook laptops compare to Lenovo ThinkPads, I will have an HP ProBook 435G7 in my hands soon. I'll do a video on that laptop and compare it to my experiences with the X13 and T14. If you know anyone interested in purchasing a Lenovo T14 or anyone trying to decide if they want to purchase a T14 or X13, share this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.